हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू हियर डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन फॉर मोर अपडेट्स ऑन वी एल एस आर डिजाइन सिस्टम वेल ऑफ ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड मोर इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर एरेज इन सिस्टम वेल ऑफ विच इज अ फंडामेंटल यट पावरफुल कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर हार्डवेयर डिजाइन सो दीज आर द कॉन्टेंट्स डेट वी विल बी कवरिंग टूडे वी विल बी कवरिंग द टाइप ऑफ एरेज डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ अरेज लाइक स्टेटिक अरे सिंगल अरे मल्टी डायमेंशनल अरे वी विल ऑल्सो सी द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ एरेज इन सिस्टम वेल लॉ यूजिंग जैलिंग्स विवाडो सो एन एरे इन सिस्टम वेल लॉग्स आर यूज टू स्टोर मल्टीपल वैल्यूज ऑफ द सेम डेटा टाइप इफ यू आर फैमिलियर विद प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज लाइक सी और पाइथन यू विल रिकॉगनाइज दैट एन एरे इज एसेंशियली अ कलेक्शन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स यू कैन एक्सेस थ्रू इंडेक्सिंग सो हियर वी हैव गिवन एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ array with 10 elements then arrays can be of different types like static array static array is a fixed size array which means that the array size will be constant throughout the simulation static arrays can be one dimensional two dimensional or more than two dimensional which are called as multi dimensional these are the examples of array de declarations of fixed size so here we can have a fixed size single dimensional array or we can have a fixed size multi dimensional array as well so uh, an array can be of different dimensions and of fixed size or variable size also then we can have multi dimensional arrays so this is the multi dimensional array which is a two dimensional array with three rows and four columns so uh, we have three rows and four columns like this and the array declaration is also given uh, array is the name of the array so we can give any name of the array and the dimensionals are also declared to be of three rows and four columns so now we will look at the implementation of array using zalings ivado so you can see i have declared a multi dimensional array here the name of my array is multi dime array test so we have declared a array which has three rows and each row has total of four elements so you can see using the 14th uh, number line i have declared the zeroth row to be equal to 0010 then in the six uh, in the 17th line i have declared the second and third element of the first row in the 18th line i have declared the first element of the first row in the 19th line i have declared the zeroth element of the first row so here you can see i have declared first row in four different lines so the first row is equal to 0110 and here i have in the 20th line i have declared the second row to be equal to 1100 i have declared it as c of hexadecimal so c in hexadecimal is 12 in decimal so it means 1100 now we will try to implement it and execute it so when we execute it then you can see here we have got the array so the this is the second row of the array then we have the first row of the array equal to 6 then we can also open to see the individual elements and he, here we have the zero throw of the array so this is the array this is the example of how we declare a multi dimensional array here also you can see this my array is of three rows of four elements each so there are total of 12 elements 1 1 40 then 1 1 0 0 1 so these are the four elements first four elements are the second row then four, next four elements are the first row and the final four elements are of the zeroth row now we will also see how to see the individual elements and how to see the indexing so in 24th line you can see i am accessing the zeroth and the first row of the array so let us run the simulation again and let us see how this declaration will work so we are executing this using xilinx vivado so here you can see 
द जीरो एंड द फर्स्ट रो ऑफ द एरे इज इक्वल टू जीरो वन वन जीरो दिस इज द फर्स्ट रो एंड जीरो जीरो वन जीरो दिस इज द जीरो थ्रो सो द फर्स्ट रो इज इक्वल टू जीरो वन वन जीरो एंड द जीरो थ्रो इक्वल टू जीरो जीरो वन जीरो सो वैन वी राइट माई अरे एंड वन इज टू जीरो इन द स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट्स दैन वी आर एक्सेसिंग द जीरो एंड द फर्स्ट रो ऑफ द एरे नाउ वी विल कमेंट दिस लाइन ऑल्सो एंड वी विल एग्जीक्यूट द नेक्स्ट लाइन सो वैन आई टाइप्ड माई अरे एंड स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट टू इज टू जीरो इट डिस्प्लेड ऑल द थ्री रोज ऑफ द अरे एंड दिस द ट्वेंटी फोर्थ लाइन डिस्प्लेज ओनली द फर्स्ट एंड द सेकेंड रो ऑफ द अरे सो दैट ऑल्सो आई कैन राइट इन द कमेंट फॉर योर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग नाउ लेट एस कमेंट दिस लाइन ऑल्सो एंड एग्जीक्यूट द नेक्स्ट लाइन so i am typing my array and one in the square brackets so this will display the first row of the array so here you can see in the console i have got the first row of the array equal to 0 1 1 0 so i have got the four elements of the first row so this line will display the four elements of the first row so this is displaying only the first row of the array then the next line you can see i have declared my array and i am accessing 1 2 so let us run this also so in this way we can see the different or we can access the different rows of the array using indexing so here we are making use of the indexing so as you can see this is displaying only the second element Or the th it, this is displaying only the third element of the first row. So in this way we can access each element individually also of the multi-dimensional array. So this is done using indexing. So this line displays only the second element of the first row. so let us comment this line also and we will execute the next line so the next line will display the zeroth and the first element of the second row so because we have written 1 is to 0 so it means we are displaying the zeroth and the first element of the second row so this is this 0 0 because second row is equal to 1 1 0 0 so the zeroth and the first element are 0 0 only so remember in indexing always start from zero next we will discuss the dynamic arrays the dynamic arrays are the those arrays whose size can be changed at any time so the space for the dynamic array does not exist until the array is explicitly created at run time the space is allocated only when the new method is called where the the number indicates the number of rows so here we have the dynamic array method so as you can see the new method will allocate the storage to the array the size method will return the current size of the dynamic array and the delete method will empty the array resulting in a zero sized array then we have the packed and unpacked arrays so packed array refers to the dimensions which are declared before the data identifier name so here you can see in the example i have declared the dimensions before the identifier name so this is a 7 is to 0 so means there are it is of eight dimensions total dimensions are eight and each the array is of bit type then here we have the unpacked array it refers to the dimensions declared after the data type name next we have the so as you can see the packed arrays store contiguous sets of bits so here we have declared the packed array so this array contains total 3 rows each row is of 8 elements and they are stored as a non contiguous sets of bits so this diagram shows storing of unpacked array as a non contiguous sets of bits this is the unpacked array so it 
so here the the arrays is stored as a uncontiguous sets of bits so here we can see the three rows are stored in uncontiguous way whereas in the packed array they are stored in a contiguous way so here you can see we have declared this packed array and unpacked array then we have the associative arrays so associative arrays are used where the size of a collection is not known so in dynamic array we have to allocate memory bef before using it but in the associative array the memory can be allocated only when it is used so the dynamic array is specific for a particular data type but array associative array can be used for any data type so here we have seen first we have uh, given an example of an associative array declaration then we have de then we have declared the first element as 20 and it is of type red then the second element is 51 and it is of type green or the index is green then the third element is 36 and the index is yellow so here we have also seen that index is like a string so we can use the string also as the index for associative array so hopefully this video was